Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. And in this video, we're going to talk about send on behalf permissions. In the previous video, we looked at send as, where you're basically impersonating a user, where send on behalf means whenever a user sends on behalf of another user, it'll always show that this has taken place. So you'll know when the mail was sent and from who it was sent from. So similar to the other one, you can see that we're not running the um, add AD permission. We're actually setting the mailbox. So in this case, I'm uh, making a change on user three so that user two can obviously send. And User three can't be found. Let's just try that again. There we go. So I had the full FQDN in there. Just as you can see, the, that's why I didn't go through. So you can obviously then remove permissions again. So if the user does leave the organization, you can remove the send on behalf right. So maybe you have a PA that's sending on behalf of a manager or a director of the company that's handling you know a lot of his mail then you might have this situation or you might have them using send as uh, whichever works for the company and that is send on behalf thank you very much for watching